hey hi and hello it's me Nikki welcome back to my channel and another plan with me so I just want to share with you this scripture that was in my booklet today and it says for this is how God loved the world he gave his own his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life that is John 3 16 okay that's the scripture amen and amen again and so our first day of next week is February 26 Sunday February 26 and you gotta know it we starting off with this cute girl oh she's so cute I'm excited about her whole life honey and just so that we never forget it we want to put here a little pretty lady and look at she got on some cute shoes it says hey pretty lady so listen Pretty stands for presenting reasonable endeavors that thrive yielded to God and his purpose for your life. And so always remember that. Always remember that you are a pretty lady striving to please God with your gifts and with your talents. And that's just how I go. So Sunday we'll have our message here. Um, I will need to put something here so that I can jot down any reminders I may need to carry over during the week because as I said before God is always speaking right and so even while you're at church listening to the message he still has something to say and I like to jot those extra things down right in the middle of all that he's saying through the speaker as well as what he's dropping in my spirit on Tuesdays at 7, I have my women's small group Bible study. And so we'll just put that right here. So I have a little song in my spirit. And I want to sing it for y'all. Not that I'm some kind of singer. <laughs> but because it's in my spirit. And more than likely, it is going to come out, honey. Monday, scripture, I wrote down memory verse. I didn't write down, I pulled the sticker memory verse. And it's gonna be our memory verse because on Mondays, we write about it. And what do we write about? We write about the scripture reference that we are focusing in on uh, here at The Pretty Experience. And you can find that whole entire blog at theprettyexperience.com which is where every Monday the blog comes out. Every single Monday. Let's keep this going. Make it pretty. Then we are going live over here on Tuesday at 3.30. Mel and I, Melissa and I are going live over here, okay? Listen, I want to remind you to, I want to remind myself, not y'all, because this is not y'all's plan or this is mine, um, to make my day count. And I just want to write, I'm, I'm writing in blue live with mail so excited um, so sad because this will be my last live with her for the month we have gone live every tuesday speaking on um loving yourself through the community you choose meaning through your friendships friendships are so important right <clears throat> And when you love yourself through the friends you choose, um, no, no one really has thought about that, right? That loving yourself would be, self-love could be carried out through choosing friends um, that 
fit the biblical mold. You know, show yourself friendly. Um, be wise, uh, surround yourself with wise friends and um, not wallow and hang out with foolish companions, things like that. And we've been talking about that. And so we are ending this month on that same note, friendship and how we love our friends and how we choose our friends. Do y'all have a song in y'all's heart that y'all wake up singing? That encourages your whole soul. Y'all thought I forgot to sing, huh? For the good of them who love the Lord. I have not seen, neither has it heard. Y'all know that part? The thing God has prepared for me. The love, 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 and you may have to walk alone, but I know that I know that I know things will work out. Yes, they will. But it will work out. I'm directing. For the good of the who love the Lord. Hey, are you, do you guys do affirmations? Do you guys um, put down, write down, and repeat affirmations? Um, I am thoroughly enjoying that piece. Now, I cannot say that I am uh, staying, you know, like, <laughs> always on it, because that ain't the case, but, um, I'm loving my affirmations because they keep me grounded and they remind me of God's goodness and the the um, his promises to me, you know. I was talking about the affirmations, but they are not just affirmations that, you know, um, that I pull out of my head or out of my emotions. I pull them out of the scriptures. So what I did was I wrote, I typed the scriptures and then I wrote the affirmation based on the scripture. So yeah, uh, um, being a mom is a blessing, and so much um, la love and laughter and, and beauty comes with that. And so does heartache and pain. So does heartache and pain. And my heart has been very heavy here in this last week. Very, very heavy for my children and my children's children. And um, thank God, listen, this is why we talked about, this is why we've been talking about friendship in um, the love month. 
get you some friends that know how to pray you through. Get you some friends that know how to gird you up in prayer. And uh, they not just only talking about it, but they being about it. Like we talked about um, prayer, you know, praying for our children. But I was shared with them some of the things that were going on. And, you know, it was actually my fitness group. And they just said, let's pray. Let's pray. And, like, we were on polo. So, it's not just let's pray, but, like, the let's pray came through. That's, instead of just saying let's pray, they just came on. The next polo was prayer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The next polo was prayer. Get you some friends who know how to pray. Get you some friends that's in the Word. That's how you choose wise friends i'm not talking about wise in your own in your own self i'm talking about wise through the word of god those are the kind of prayers that will get you through okay i'm not talking about just you know these emotional prayers but you're not just praying when you when you um when you when you're talking to me or when i come to you and say this is what i'm dealing with i need to know that prayer is part of your lifestyle I need to know that you praying according to the word of God. So get you some friends that's in the word too. Like not just, you know, okay. Y'all know what I'm saying? Oh, I do know something that needs to go on here. This is cleanup list. So this is a... Weekly checklist to dust the house, clean the floors, clean the mirrors and glass, change the sheets, purge, declutter, clean the bathrooms, wipe down appliances, scrub kitchen sink, outdoor spaces, clean out the free, yada, 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 okay? But the reality is this. cleaning lady <laughs> ah, ah, make my appointment y'all because let me tell you I'm not gonna do all this good working and all the being clean too now, now I'll keep a bathroom in the kitchen clean <laughs> but let me be clear no ma'am and no sir I don't care what y'all say about me listen Proverbs 31 woman by the time she got 50 something she too was saying, hey, where's my where's my staff, child? Come on, staff, and do this. And listen, I bless Angela and her business, and that's how they go. Tuesday at 7, I have a, a Christian Business Network meeting. So excited about joining that as well. 5 a.m. wake. So see, I've got to get dressed here. So in this wake, i got to do this pray read and live by like 5.30. And then I got to dress and be out. So see, this this get up and get dressed could have been over here. That's okay. We're going to keep it right there. And it's going to be a reminder to do that here. Okay. And so that's it, y'all. 
Thank you for joining me for another plan with me. Come on and plan with me. You guys have a wonderful week. Don't forget to read your Bible. Pray those um, scriptures that you read into your life, over your life. Keep them grounded in your spirit. Meditate on them. And live. So read, pray, live. Have a wonderful week. See y'all next week. Bye.